hello and welcome back guys so one thing which you will learn in this course as well is this is the bonus lecture of this course is how we can basically make our flutter web applications or flutter website live that is online just like facebook.com or just like google.com so how we can host or you can say make our flutter website or flutter application online well it is simple and very easy with flutter and firebase to host your flutter website or to make your flutter website live for example over this whatsapp web clone we will make it live now in this video so go to your whatsapp web clone okay and here click on build and you will see here hosting click on hosting and it will now open up the hosting deploy web and mobile web apps in seconds using a secure global content delivery network so all you need to do is you need to simply click on get started now it will show you this first command which is npm install dash d dash g firebase dash tools now if we copy this command you have to run this in your terminal in the android studio if you copy this command and we try to run it then we will get an error because for running this command we need node.js to be installed in our computer okay this npm means uh, that is it is related to node.js so go to google simply search for node.js this one which is node.js click download you can come here directly by typing this url click on lts recommended for most user i'm using windows so i will click on windows installer if you are using mac click on mac os installer okay so as we are uh, i am a window user so i will click on window installer and it is going to download the node.js latest new version or you can say which is recommended for most users so it is downloading download it successfully if you go to the downloads folder you can see that it has been downloaded double click on it it will open up this setup accept next 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 install so it is going to install now in our computer and it is installed successfully that's it so simple and so easy now I'm going to copy that command again open up the terminal and simply paste that in here and it is now going to install the firebase tools specifically we will be using the firebase tools for hosting our flutter web application to make our web app live it will took some three four minutes so please wait for it so it has been completed successfully firebase tools installed successfully now we will go back to our browser click next now the next step is to log in to firebase so just copy this command come back here let me open up a new terminal just type this command firebase login and press enter so allow firebase to collect yes so it open up your browser and then your gmail account in which your firebase project is there so for example my this project is inside my this email Muhammad Ali alizdb at 75 okay my firebase project is there so to the same uh, uh, gmail you have to log in where you have your firebase console or you can say where you have your this whatsapp web clone firebase project okay so it will show you this then you have to click allow so firebase CLI login successful if you come back here you can see logged in as my gmail account you can see here now the next step is we have to run this command yes I want to proceed click Y press enter okay and then you have to choose here hosting as we are hosting 
configure file for file based hosting this one okay using your keyboard arrow operators you can come down and come upward like this select this one which is configure uh, hosting one okay this one configure files for firebase hosting and actually set up github action deploy this one okay when you move here press space button on your keyboard you will see this one is selected now press enter now it will tell you where do you want to host so we have already our existing firebase project so you will click on this one that is using uh, arrow operator you can move okay when you come here use an existing project press enter so our project name is whatsapp web clone this one okay so select that one and press enter so what do you want to use as public directory here you have to type build slash web press enter configure as a single page app yes click y uh, press y and then click enter set up automatically and deploy with good help no so write n press enter Firebase initialization complete. Now what you need to do is here you have to type this command which is flutter build web. Flutter build web. Now before running this command one thing you have to keep in mind please. Whenever you want to deploy your application first make sure to click on tools flutter and then clean your project first okay so i'm going to clean the project as you see and then when you clean it then click flutter flutter pub get so that it remove the old build from your project okay so now we are going to run that command which is flutter build web it will took some one or two minutes so wait for it as you can see it is completed so as it is completed successfully now the flutter build web is done next thing is we have to run the last command which is to deploy so it will now make our application live our website live so just type that command flutter deploy and press enter it will took some two three minutes you have to wait for it it is deploying it okay and congratulations our website is live our whatsapp web clone is live now on this url in your case it will be different in my case it is different as you can see my hosting url is this one okay so i will just copy this url or even you can click on it and it will open it automatically in your browser as you know that it is now live at this url so you have to just type that is this URL you have to just type in any browser you want for example I'm going to open now Brave browser so here I will simply write my URL and I will press enter and it will open up our whatsapp web clone as you can see so now you can simply share your this URL with anyone from around the world it can be your friend let's say your friend from Japan your friend from USA your friend from UK just share this URL with them or with your family members and they can talk to you as you know that it is live just like Facebook Messenger or just like real WhatsApp our web app is now live at this URL so just send them this URL and when they click open up they will see a user interface like this they can create a brand new account and then they can log in and they can st start sending messages to you and you guys can now talk with each other send messages to each other or send files to each other it can be any file so allow the permission for using uh, notifications